right, so today for Foundation Friday, I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve the glass skin look. So if you've never heard of glass skin, it's a Korean makeup trend, which the best way I've found it described is like a translucent glow. So you basically are trying to achieve that super reflective glass-like look where your skin just looks very glowy and reflective, but you can't see the makeup like sitting on top of your skin. It literally just looks like glass. I want to say thank you to Haley's Beauty for sponsoring a portion of today's video. A couple of the products I'm going to be using are from Haley's Beauty and you guys just, you just wait. But Haley's Beauty is vegan and cruelty free and their founder is a female chemist, which I just think rocks because you know that the ingredients that are going in are good. Their products have skincare ingredients in them and they're also hosting a giveaway for you guys. So there's gonna be 20 different winners, 20 winners. So if you wanna enter the giveaway, I'll have the rules down below in the description box. It's on their Instagram. And they're also giving you guys $5 off with the code Taylor on your order of $15 or more. So you can get five bucks off. Everything is down below in the description box, but let's get into some glass skin business. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. All right, so equally as important as the makeup for this look is the skin, hence the name glass skin. I recently did my updated morning and nighttime skincare routine, so I'm gonna link that in the eye and down below, but that goes through what I would recommend as far as skincare. So I'm not gonna go through every single step of the skincare since it is in that video, but I am gonna touch on a couple products that I think are key for achieving that smooth kind of base. If you have acne and you're thinking there's no way I can achieve this kind of look, I actually have a video from a few years ago when I had cystic acne, doing kind of a no foundation routine, which basically gives you a similar kind of look just without foundation. So I will also link that video down below it can be done if you have acne and stuff. You're just gonna have to kind of tweak certain steps a little bit. So again, check out that video. So up to this point, I've cleansed my skin, used a toner, and then I went in with the Polish Choice BHA Liquid Exfoliant. This is one of the products that I think is absolutely key for minimizing texture. This has completely transformed my skin. I'm almost out of this bottle. I already have a backup. Because it's only 2% BHA, you can use it morning and night, it says on here. But if you're just starting out, it would maybe like work up to that. So naturally, I do have a lot of skin texture. Makeup tends to like cling to my texture and this really helps just smooth out the little like under the skin bumps, especially on my forehead and around my nose and my pores and everything. But it also does immediately give you a really pretty glass-like glow, which is why I also like using it underneath makeup for this look. So next up is SPF, and I'm actually gonna be using this Biore UV SPF 50 because this one is more of like a lightweight gel consistency. It's not super, super glowy. Like most of my other SPFs I use are very moisturizing and very glowy, but because I don't want my skin to be overboard wet looking, like we want that transparent kind of look, but not overly wet and dewy. You'll see me kind of alternating between products that are very glowy and then a little bit more mattifying just to achieve that nice balance. So you guys will have just seen, I think, my Yes Style video where I tested out a bunch of Korean makeup, but that video was filmed a couple weeks at least before this video is going up. So some of the stuff I'm using in today's video I've actually been testing for longer than it looks like to you. But this was one of those products in this SPF I've been really liking. If you have more normal or combo skin, I think you would extra like this just because of how lightweight it is and it does really sink into the skin, but my skin is more on the dry side and I also really like it. It is very moisturizing, but it's not overly glowy. It just feels basically like a very lightweight gel. So I'm going to give that a couple minutes to sink into my skin. If you're doing a lot of skincare before your makeup, just make sure you're kind of letting it all sink in or else you might get some pilling on your face. So because a lot of the products I'm going to be using are more creamy and dewy, I do want to use a primer that's going to kind of make it all stay on throughout the day because I'm not going to be using a lot of powder or anything. I usually don't use powder, so that's not really like a thing for me. But if you're someone who does use powder normally and you're not going to be using a ton for this look, you might want to use like an extra kind of gripping or just mattifying base so that it really stays on there. One that I've been liking for that is the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. So e.l.f. came out with their Putty Primer, which is the dupe for the Tatcha product. And then recently they came out with a matte version. Now, if you have dry skin, don't be scared. I at first was like, there's no way this is gonna work, but it's not what you think of when you think of a matte primer. It's not overly drying or anything. It actually is still pretty moisturizing, but I feel like it creates a really nice base for makeup to actually stay on your face. And this is only a few bucks. It actually feels to me like more moisturizing than the original version. So I'm gonna take some of that on my fingers, rub it together, and then start around my pores and just kind of press it in. I'm bringing it to the bridge of my nose. I add a touch on my chin. 
and I get creasing and stuff around my lip area. So I'm just bringing it above and kind of patting it in. Personally, I'm not gonna bring it right here on my forehead. I don't want right here super, super glowy because then I'm just gonna look oily, but I do like my forehead right here a bit more glowy. It's kind of just up to you. Okay, so the star of the show, which I am so excited I've found this product because I feel like I've been searching for something exactly like this for years now. This is the Haley's Beauty Reinvent BB Drops. So I just wanted to say, even though I'm working with Haley's Beauty on this video, I was able to choose all of the products I wanted to feature in here. These are things that I came to them with saying that I loved and that I wanted to share with you guys. So I love this thing. I actually showed it in a vlog a few weeks ago and this is like one of those products that I feel like is just so rare. So because these are drops and they have marula oil in them, you're gonna wanna shake it really well. These don't break me out. Some marula oils, like the Drunk Elephant marula oil breaks me out and the oil is just gonna help give you that like glowing effect. So I use the shade Fair Cool and it is the perfect undertone, perfect shade for me. So personally, I like using these with a brush. I'm just gonna use this It Cosmetics one. I've tried it with a few different brushes. It works totally fine with any kind of Kabuki foundation brush you have, but they do recommend using it with your fingers or a brush. So whichever you prefer. So I'm just going to drop these directly on my face and then go in and blend. So the thing I love about this product, well, multiple things, but it friggin looks like your skin. One of the most not noticeable products I've ever found, which is why I think it's perfect for this look. It literally just looks like you have beautiful, naturally glowing pretty skin. Covers my redness and evens everything out. You can see this side versus this side. Because it's so lightweight and moisturizing, it doesn't crease or anything on my upper lip, which is also rare for me. And you can build this up a little bit too. I like wearing it just on lighter makeup days. Because I have more redness on this side, I'm just going to add a touch more. Even when you build this up, it still keeps the same finish. It still looks like literally your skin. Oh my god, look at that. I have a new giant mirror to my right here. So if I'm looking over here, that's why. My forehead is where a ton of foundations and ton of products tend to cling. I also just dyed my roots. Good day to do a glass skin tutorial when you have root dye all over your face. So it is rare that I find a product that looks this smooth and beautiful on my forehead, especially since that's where I tend to get a lot of caking and especially right between my eyebrows. Before I move on with the rest of the makeup look, I'm just gonna pop on some brows to look a little more put together here. This is the CoverGirl brow gel I've been obsessed with. And then to just shape them a little bit more, I'm gonna use the Milani Precisely, no, Precision Brow. Wow, I tried to say that sentence like 18 times, so we're going with that one. <laughs> In the shade Medium Brown. Okay, so because I do have some darkness underneath my eyes, I am gonna go in with a touch of concealer. But I'm gonna use the shade Fair Neutral in the Revive Concealer Cream. I use this in an Instagram stories video and a lot of you guys were asking my thoughts on it. I like this one. I like that you can use it in different ways. Like you can kind of use it more light coverage like I'm gonna use today by blending it out with a sponge. And this sponge that I'm gonna use to blend it out is 10 bucks, which is really good for a sponge. Super soft, super bouncy. This is it after it's... Uh, dampened a little bit. I like this one for foundation as well. Or you can apply it more full coverage, use a little bit more and blend it out with a brush and you'll get more coverage. The shade is very brightening on me, which I love. This dries down very quickly. So this isn't one of the concealers you'll want to like let sit underneath your eyes. So I'm just going to go in with a touch, a very small amount. Since again, we want this to look as skin-like as possible. Where's my mirror? And then take the tip of the sponge and just blend. And I want to get it really close in underneath my eye and towards my inner corner because that's where I have a lot of the darkness. I'm actually going to use that to kind of conceal my eyelids as well. If you don't have, you know, freckles and stuff, you don't have to do this. But I do feel like when I even out my lids, it tends to overall look a little bit more flawless because everything just looks kind of more even. And then just take whatever face powder you have laying around or if you have, you know, cream just skin colored eyeshadow use that. I'm just using this Urban Decay powder because it's what I have on my desk. And the only other thing I'm gonna apply to my eyes is a little bit of highlight. So you can take whatever face highlight you like and just pop it on the inner corner using a brush. This is just gonna help to open up your eyes a ton. So next up is a step that I feel like is probably the trickiest for this whole glass skin kind of look 
which is powder, because you want to mattify certain parts, but you still want to keep that skin-like look. You don't want to look like overly greasy dewy, but you don't want to powder too much. There's a fine balance, and I've tried this look with a few different powders, and I feel like this one does the best job. And I'm actually going to use this in a few different ways. So this is the Exo Beauty Aurora powder. This has been around for a while and I feel like it's one of the most underrated makeup products on the market. So this powder has a glow, but if you use it with a really big fluffy brush like this one by Milani, the powder bronzer brush, it's still a powder. So it's going to mattify a tiny bit, but it keeps the glow because it is a glowy powder. And then you can also use this as a face highlight, which we're also going to do today. The reason why I'm using this powder is because it gives the most skin-like natural glow from within kind of look without looking like you're wearing a face highlight, which is what we're going for. I don't want like the intense stripey kind of highlight today. I really just want my skin to look like glow from within kind of situation. So because I am pretty glowy like around my pore area, that's mostly where I'm going to apply this are the areas where I want to mattify a touch, but I don't want to fully, you know, remove the glow. So I'm going to use this brush, dip into the powder, and start on my chin. So as you can see, it still kept a glow, but it just looks a little bit less dewy. So I'm gonna take that same powder, go around my nose area. And you might be noticing I'm not powdering my under eyes for today's video. It's totally up to you. For me, when I do this kind of more natural skin kind of look, I really can't powder my under eyes because I get a weird like distinction between the two. My skin is weird with powder, so if you're normal, <laughs> then you could powder your under eyes. For me, I feel like it looks so much better when I don't powder my under eyes. Okay, so you might be thinking that like mattified it too much, but again, layers. So I am going to be using a setting spray, which is going to bring back a lot of that glow. I'm going to leave my forehead because powder usually doesn't sit well on my forehead. I like the reflect that we have going on. So next I'm going to go in for blush and I'm actually using a cream blush today. I know, shocking. Normally I don't go near cream blushes, but I used this the other day when I was testing this look and it just looked so pretty. This is the shade 330 Sweet Innocence from CoverGirl. And this is one of their new cream blushes. So I'm gonna start out by using my fingers to apply this and then I might blend it out a touch with the sponge too if I need to, but you just need a touch of this. Like I'm gonna start off pretty small. I also don't want it to be overboard, but this is a super pretty glowy pink blush and I just feel like it gives that like fresh face kind of look. Oh, it has this iridescence to it. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a little bit pinky purple. Oh my god. If you feel like you got too much, like I feel like I got a little bit much on this side, don't worry. We're going to do something after that's going to blend it all in. So to blend that in, I'm going to go in with just a touch more of that foundation drops, put it directly on the brush and then just use that to blend out the edges and kind of tone it down a little bit. So as you can see, that just helps to kind of make it look more natural and blend it in. So I feel like you could go either way with bronzer for this look. I am gonna use a touch of this powder bronzer by Misha, and this is in the shade Smoked Hazel. It's a super pretty, natural looking, more cool toned shade. It's pretty hard to go overboard with this, so I'm just going to apply a touch just to add a little bit of definition to my cheekbones. And again, I'm tapping because I haven't powdered. I don't want to lift up any of those cream products by blending, so I'm just kind of blending upwards and tapping. So it just adds a little bit of definition. All right, and then taking the Sigma FO3 brush, I'm going to go back in with that Exo Beauty powder and apply to the chop to the chop. <laughs> Oh my God, to the top of my cheekbones. Again, this is a very natural looking soft kind of powder, so you can't really go overboard with this. It just gives that beautiful reflect without being like a highlight. So I'm actually not gonna apply the highlight to my cubes bow or nose like I usually do because I just want the glow to be in really specific areas for this look and I don't want to look overly glowy. How many times have I said that? All right, and the last step for the base is a setting spray. So I'm going to be using the Milani Make It Dewy. This is a really interesting setting spray. I keep going back and forth on how I feel about this because it's weird. I haven't quite found a setting spray like this before. It does have like an oil kind of finish, but it's it dries down. So when you first put it on, it looks like it's going to be crazy glowy and like super intense, but then once it dries, a lot of the glow goes away, but it leaves this like 
sheen to your skin, which is why I think it's good for this look. If you want a super glowy setting spray, Catrice Dewy Glow is my holy grail. Make sure you shake it up really well. So because I'm very glowy on my forehead already, I don't feel like I need any extra glow there. I do wanna set my face, but I'm just gonna use from far away a couple spritzes of this, like much less than I normally would, and basically just focus it on my cheek area. So when you spray that, it feels like nothing's coming out, but it is, it's just super fine. So I'm actually not gonna apply mascara or anything. There's something about this look, like this kind of really plump, healthy looking skin look. When I put mascara on, for my face, it just kind of ruins it. I don't know, do you, do whatever you wanna do on your eyes. If you wanna do a full on winged liner, go for it. I do like to add a bit of a lip product and this I've been really liking. It's from the brand Billy. It's basically like a tinted, chapstick but it gives the prettiest pink color on the lips so i'm gonna apply this look at that color i've been really liking this on like no makeup makeup days because it just adds a touch of something all right so this is the finished glass skin look let me know what you guys think down below i'm gonna have all the products i used on my face today linked down below in the description box I'm debating putting on some corner false lashes right now but I think we're just gonna leave it without. If you wanted that like really pretty dull like kind of look, you could add some lashes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. And all the info for entering the giveaway, if you wanna do that, is in the description box as well. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.